Good morning. What a pretty view this morning. this morning. My kids are going this week to my in-laws for fall break. So this is on my to-do list this week is get all this stuff put away. This flooring took back that's not opened and just get organized and get me um, a rocking chair for my porch and some mums and a door hanger and all of those things that I haven't had time to do yet. Good morning feeding time. This morning for our novelty item in our whooping box, we have a balance board pumpkin is entertaining it which is great it, and nobody is crying meaning they're showing no fear it's not bothering anyone we're fixing to eat our puppy mush and then i'm going to change out their linens but i wanted to go ahead and get this done while they were all awake it looks like they're all interacting if they were crying or they may show signs of worry or stress Boogie's the only one that's just kind of like, there's a lot of people over there. I'm going to hang out here. Let's see if he'll do anything. I think he was just like, oh, wait till everybody else is done. They're all checking it out. It's a balance board or balance disc. It's got different textures on it. So we're introducing that. The textures are okay. It's exciting. This is our first real novelty item that I've introduced. How exciting. These two are fighting over here. Look, Boogie. Look, Boogie. Go test this out. Come here. Look. Test it out, Bubba. Test it out. Boogie's the smallest, so a lot of times he gets pushed away. <laughs> And they will play with this and interact with this until they're no longer interested and they lay down and go to sleep. And then I will remove it out of the whelping box. So if you can't tell, I brought all my bowls in last night from down there so that I could wash them all this morning and let them soak and dawn overnight. So I'm gonna clean those real quick. Then I am not a coffee girl. So I had to have my first cup of Coke of the morning to get my life going. So I'm gonna work on my floors really quick in my house. They think I'm gonna give them a treat apparently because I'm standing here by <laughs> Well, they're, they're wanting their food as well, but I'm going to do, work on my floors and then do their um, their raw feed. But anyway, I highly recommend this Neko S5 Pro. It's off Amazon, and yes, it was you know it was a little bit of money, but it's 100% worth it. I use it every single day in my house, and then just about every other day down there where the puppies are. So um, it mops and vacuums, and when I tell you that it truly is worth the money, I was nauseous buying it but I'm so glad that I did because it cuts out that extra step for me. And so I can go, I start my bathroom and then I go all the way to the uh, kitchen 
and before it usually dies and sometimes I can even get the whole house done depends on what level I'm running it on but it will literally if it's on auto it will literally vacuum and mop at the same time so I highly recommend this all right guys so I got my floors done and a couple loads of laundry going so we're going to give the big dogs their food and then from there I'm going to make the puppy mush and take that down to the puppies. I've got clean linens ready to go um, for their whelping box that I will change out as soon as they're done with their um, puppy mush just because they do make a really large mess and so I don't want to change and give them clean clean uh, linens and then turn around and have to change them out again. So we're going to let them eat their puppy mush and then I'll change their linens. But here we go. We're going to make some raw um, the, the big dog's raw dog food and uh, let me preface this with it is not appetizing to the human eye. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday when I made puppy mush, I filled up this little container right here and then put it in my blender with water. But today I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because I weighed way too much. So let's go get some dog food. Okay, so I brought puppy mush down and put it in there, as you can see, but mama had different plans. She thought she needed to nurse, which is fine. So I went ahead and removed the puppy mush and we'll try again for the next feeding for puppy mush. So I'm gonna let her do her thing. She's in there with them. I've got to do some invoicing for my husband's business. And then I want to begin on a, a suggestion list to go in our go home folders on things that I recommend as a doodle parent that are important, such as different brushes, such as um, how often to get them groomed, just different. Um, I prefer raised food bowls. I prefer a harness over a collar for several reasons, but one main one being you have, I feel like you have more control. Number one, number two, I feel like it's, um, it's safer as far as tugging on their throat. Like if they're on the leash and you're at the ballpark and you're constantly pulling them, that is not, can you imagine something on your throat and you're constantly being jerked? So I like the harness because it clips, your leash clips in the little um, loophole in the back of the harness and you're controlling them from their back and not their throat. So I'm gonna put all of that in um, a go home folder for our pups and at six o'clock we have a family coming today to pick out their puppy and that's exciting um but i'm going to get to this and i'll check back in in a little bit they finally decided to get up from their nap and they're eating and mom's watching What a busy, busy day, but productive day. 
the family just left that came to pick out their puppy. So, um, right before they got here, I went ahead and changed out the linens. The puppies ate their puppy mush up like never before. Crazy dogs. And um, now they are, well, taking a nap. I'm still learning how to use this camera. It's quite interesting. But everybody is fed and full. And Mama is waiting on my husband to get home with a sushi roll. I am starving. So I'm going to um, eat my dinner and relax. The puppies are taken care of. It's been a great day. Thank you for following along and I'll see y'all tomorrow.